time, Valentine. See how love changes things. Tom Kurt. Hi. Cindy Hannah S. I found that say. Mrs. Penny Feather Hannah G. What is it, Rover? <laughs> Rover Kennedy. What are you doing, Cindy? Thinking Valentine. Here's what I made for my teacher. Look, it has a blue bird with a heart in its beak. That's a pretty. Miss Dean will like it. Have you made any Valentines yet? No, I brought some. So, do you want to see some clever ones? Here's an old mule kicking up his heels. It says, uh, I get a big kick out of you. <laughs> that, this one is in the shape of a heart insert in the shape of a beat. It says, my heart beats for you. <laughs> I'm going to send this, some to friends in the apartment house where we, we used to live. That is a good idea. <coughs> yes, uh, I'll make a list. Uh, there's Debbie Paul Peter. Don't forget Jim. Say, let's send the one to old Miss Penny Feather. It could say, I hate you instead of I love you. Oh, oh no, Tom, we couldn't do that. Why not? She's always blaming things on us. I know. She even chases us away when we get too close to her fence. One day, Bill dared me to throw a dead snake in to her garden. You did it. <laughs> we did. We watched her get a shovel and bury it. I heard her tell mom all about it. And boy, was she angry. Lucky, lucky mom didn't know you did it. Please not to tell. I Please won't. don't tell. I won't. We girls tied her, her front gate shut with a big rope last Halloween. Well, that's what uh, she gets for acting like an old witch. She used to be nice to us when we were little, before we went to school. I remember going to her door for cookies. I wonder what happened to change her so much. I don't know. Why? I used to play with her dog, and now she rolls at me. I guess they both hate children. Tom, do you know what I'm going to do? What? Make Mrs. Penny Feather a Valentine. A very special one. Well, don't put my name on it. I won't even put my name on it. I'll just write guess who. I don't have enough Valentine, so I'm going back to the store. Please see if you can buy some large envelopes for my Valentines. I'm going to look for some of them. Back to Valentine's Day. <coughs> Valentine's Day is morning. Mrs. <laughs> Penny Feather leaves the house to take over and go to walk. As soon as she is out of sight, Cindy leaves the Valentine. Tom waits and they, they run. Mrs. Penny Feather returns. Rover smells the Valentine before Mrs. Penny Feather smells it. What is it, Rover? Give me that. No one has sent me a real letter for a year. <coughs> Anyhow, it wasn't mail just left here. It's a joke, that's what. But I'm going to open it anyway. It says my name on it, that's for sure. Why, Rover, it's a beautiful, beautiful valentine. Who could have sent this to me? It says I love you. I'm going to make cookies. Now, where is my heart-shaped cookie cutter? Remember how cute the neighbor children were when I used to give them cookies? I wonder why they grew up to be so naughty. I'll have to find my cookie, my cookbook to I've forgotten the recipe. Think of it, Rover. Someone sent me a Valentine. Maybe it really isn't for me. It's really mine. Somebody remembered me, and I'm going to remember somebody too. X3 Valentine Day after school. As Tom and Cindy return from school, Mrs. Penny Feather opens, door opens, and Rover 
rushes out. Mrs. Penny Potter <coughs> appears in frame, carrying something. Happy Valentine's Day, children. Did you get lots of Valentines? Oh, yes, lots of them. Well, I got one too, a beautiful one. Don't know where it came from, but it made me very happy. So I decided to make Valentine's too. <coughs> Cookie hearts with red icing. Hope you like them. That's a great. I think I'll make cookies to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Fourth of July, and more. Mm -hmm. That's great. It will be. Perhaps you would like to help me put the frosting on. Then I could make more and give some to all the boys and girls on the block. Oh, that would be fun. I'll get. I'll let you know when I'm ready to frost. Goodbye. Come on, Cindy. We got to get home. Thanks again for the cookies, Mrs. Pennyfeather. Goodbye. Whatever happened to her? I can't believe Mrs. Pennyfeather sure changed it in a hurry. Could a Valentine's really do that? Maybe. Remember it said I love you? <laughs> what? Who said that? I did. Now what's going on here? Goodness, I don't know birthday cards could speak. Certainly. Birthday cards always have something to say. You should have known that. I suppose you're right. Okay, now what was the question? When are we being moved? We like being in the middle of the store. Oh, don't worry. It's only for a little while. I need to make room for the new shipment of Valentine's and just dropped. Valentine's? What are Valentine's? You've never heard of Valentine's? Well, then I'll tell you. Valentine's are cards given on Valentine's Day to express the love and affection between people. Yep, that sounds mushy. <laughs> <laughs> It's very nice, really. It gives everyone a chance to show how they feel about the special people in their lives. But don't they already know that? Some do, some don't. In either case, it's always nice to be reminded. Who gets these Valentines? Anyone you want. I know. I'll show you a few to know what I mean. Just think. We're being pushed aside for some mostly old Valentine cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they better be good. <laughs> Here we are. This is a Valentine for Mom. What do you think? Hmm, pretty to look at. But what does it have to say? Just listen. To Mom, because you're always there for me to help along the way, I want to say I love you again on Valentine's Day. Not bad. 
Set up on <coughs> what? Uh, oh, your hand. Are you looking at me? Or am I supposed to <laughs> wave to Mrs. Hoji? Not a girl. <laughs> She's not in here right now, guys. Here, let me help you with your suit. I'll help too. Give me some room. 
Well, I never knew it took three people to pull off one pair of shoes. Besides, my feet feel better now. I think I'll leave the shoes on. Come here, dear, and let me see your jacket. There's a button loose. Well, that's been, well, that's been loose a long time. Well, let's hold on now and take your jacket off. Dear me, I'll have to slip it off. Are there some scissors in your knitting bag, Granny? I'll look. Let me get, I'll get them. What is going on around here? All of a sudden, everybody wants to wait on me. Don't bother, children. I can get this one myself. Just look at those headlines. How about my coat? Well, all, all right, I can read it later. Well, where have you been, Jan? Oh, just in the kitchen. The kitchen, that reminds me. That was a close call. Where did you put the box? In the oven. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned the kitchen, Jan. Now I can finish while the oven's getting hot. The oven getting hot? <laughs> yes, the oven. What's so strange about that? Where can I bake those cookies except in the oven? And how can I bake them unless the oven's getting hot? Forward, everybody, to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I put the house on fire and all I did was start to get ready to bake the Valentine cookies? I wanted to surprise all of you. Surprise! The children were to surprise you with a box of Valentine candy. First, we hid it under the cushion on the chair, and you all sat on it. Then Dad hid it under his jacket and <coughs> didn't take it off. So Cindy slipped it in, in Granny's knitting bag, and you went to get the scissors. Then I tucked it under the paper in the set, and you decided to read the news. <laughs> so I ran into the kitchen with it popped in the first place I could find. Not the oven. No, no oven. <laughs> Never mind. We can put the candy in the refrigerator to harden again. What a pretty Valentine. But we wanted it to be a surprise. And it was a Valentine surprise for everyone. <laughs> well, well, how surprising. Well, this is no surprise. Happy Valentine's Day from fourth grade. Thank you for coming.